Well, Regent Street is fully open after crews spent most of the day working to fix a water main break. New at 10, Grace Alch has you covered on what could have contributed to the break and how the city is working to address this common problem. Grace? Amber Brandon, Madison's Water Utility Department, tells me their phone rang at about 5 o'clock this morning with reports of a main break. Their crews were sent to Regent Street between Randall and Monroe, that's right near Camp Randall, where they had to shut down both westbound traffic lanes and one eastbound traffic lane. Marcus Pearson with the city's Water Utility Division says the exact cause of the break is still unknown, but there are a lot of contributing factors. One of the biggest, the main that broke is nearly 110 years old. Pearson says the main on region is a cast iron pipe from 1914. Plus the freezing and thawing that comes with our winter weather is never good for pipes. This section of downtown Madison has seen this problem before and according to data from the city of Madison just this year the city has seen 120 water main breaks. We are aware of the increase in main breaks in the area. Uh, this specific area of Regent Street is actually on city engineering shortlist to be addressed uh, with city and utility work within the next three years or so. Uh, Thankfully, businesses on that block of Regent tell me they were minimally impacted by the main break this morning. The biggest issue they noted was it being a bit harder for employees and customers to get in. But by 5 o'clock this evening, I saw all traffic lanes open and there were no other service vehicles in the area. Pearson says Madison's water utility has plans to more permanently address the area with larger city projects. He says their goal is to do so while minimizing impacts to people who live and work there as much as possible.